Guys, I want to take a real quick minute to shout out the sponsor of today's video, which is your boys down in Texas wearing them 10-gallon hats, GoPowerSports.com. Now, you can get any go-kart and mini-bike OEM performance part from GoPowerSports, and we thank them a ton for sponsoring the channel for such a long time and being a great company to work with. They have stage kits, like you can get their Stage 2 all the way to, to their Stage 4 kits. You can also get the best torque converters in the game from Go Power Sports with better spring rates, better belts, uh, better everything than anybody else on the market. You can get an awesome selection of true Makunis, or if you want to save some money, you can get a knockoff Makuni. So make sure to check out the links in the video's description. You can help out the channel and help us to continue to do these videos. It takes a ridiculous amount of time to get these videos out, especially building this garage. So huge shout out to go power sports for sponsoring this video and helping you boys down in little old tennessee out so we thank them and make sure to check out those links and buy you some goodies we'll get back to the video getting the ceiling slats put in and then we can put our outlets in we're only going to have four outlets to run 60 four foot led fixtures these same ones that's blaring in the background 60 of them 60. so another thing is me and becca went and dug around in a rat poop infested barn today and a guy gave us not a ton but a little bit of insulation uh that we got put up so it saved us about 250 dollars getting it for free he's an idiot Oh, tell them something. What am I supposed to Point tell them? at something and tell them. Those are lights. How? Oh. 
And we got the wall up. Oh, wall's up, baby. Boop, boop, boop. So we got a 220 plug at this 6x6, at that one, as well as that one. And they're all 50 amp, 6 gauge wire. Uh, we have two of them ran. Two wires are there. The plugs are all installed and hooked up. I just need to run them in the break box. Ain't that right? Cool. Mm -hmm. We have an outlet to do there and in between each garage door that'll be on their own breaker. As well as we got to put outlets up for garage door motors for future. Look at that big dumb dummy over there. <laughs> Swing down. Uh, yeah, that insulation, that free insulation is flip. Yeah. Oh, jeepers. So we gotta move that scaffolding to the next three. We only got three openings to do, baby, and we done with this part. So me and Becca, tomorrow we're gonna get insulation done all the way around, and the wires ran all the way around. So getting extremely close. Well, 60-40. Then this Saturday, we're gonna get plywood put up on the walls, get all the walls plywooded. That'd be a huge feat. And probably start throwing some plywood up on the seal land. Brandon's gonna count up how many screws are used. At least 900 is just Really? Yeah. 900 three inch decking screws. People say, yeah, why are we. That's if we just use four on each one. <laughs> Some of them we use five or six. Hey. So someone said, why are you using screws? Nails would be a lot faster. Screws are a lot stronger. It does take a little bit more time, but man, don't get the pose. Actually, you did gotta get that close. That's the screws we're using. And this is like the ninth box we I spent 150 to 200 dollars alone in screws. No joke. Say about your toenail job. You did it. You probably did those. Don't you dare. Oh boy. That's a lot of made it there, Uncle Brandon. I'd rather be the business. Hey! Man, this takes forever. Forever. Braxton's parents are in is Israel. Israel, go. Learn about old JC. Yeah. What'd JC do for us? He died on sin. Died on the cross for us. What'd you say? <laughs> I said he died on sin. He died on top of a sin? No. He oh, died, he, he died must... on the cross for our sin. So tomorrow we'll get the power in to all the other outlets and uh, all the 220s are in. We got three 220s going out on the other side of that wall. Two of them's for the AC units uh, that later are going to be. When we find out how we're getting out bankrupted, those will be installed. Then an 80 gallon air compressor, again. We should probably do it before we file bankruptcy, so we can keep it off. Then we will file chapter negative three, which means you keep everything, still keep good credit, and just, hey, you don't know us no more. We got the crew, Aubrey fake sick and got out of school today. But she's really not sick. She just likes to play the game. Look at do. So it is currently, what time is it? 7.51. 7.51 at night. And uh, I told you guys about the free installation. We got out of the rat poop barn. So now we got to finish all the insulation tonight because we have a crew that keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my weight Savior. coming tomorrow and we're going to put plywood around. The lights are bright and we got 60 of them going here. It's going to be dope. So Braxton's hooking up some fat daddy heat. I'm going to cut all the insulation right here. 
and Becky and Braxton are going to go around and slap it in. So uh, roll that beautiful montage music. Trim another pole. I wore my flannel and everything. Hey, lumberjack Brennan. This pole, let me show them real quick. See, look. I don't, you can't really tell, but the 6x6 six six sticks out in the center. This is my engine room, but unfortunately we're over budget. So it's gonna have to be my office for a month or two. Until we finish the office, hold these baby daddy. What's up? Stripping wires. I love wiring stuff like this. It's fun. Okay. Only one more in there. those two wires as well. Didn't think about it. Oh, we need another one in the boxes too for the light switch. Just lay it on the ground. Box for the light switch right there. stopped at we got that whole wall plywooded 
this one we've been working uh me and brandon's been coming two days a week and then everybody's been coming on saturday so we got just a tiny bit osb back there a little bit around there and then uh yeah she'll be done so it's looking pretty sick the engine room only the ceiling needs to be done and uh, then it'll be completely done ready for paint guys i want to say real quick a massive shout out to everybody that helped me to be able to accomplish this garage like this i absolutely wouldn't be able to do it without them so big thanks to my brother brandon uh braxton jeremy so there's randy chris and becca and uh i hope i'm not forgetting anybody but everybody that's helped we thank you so much for coming out and spending your time with us because uh it has been you know crazy hard couple weeks and it, it is crazy trying to get two videos out and be able to go work on that shop but uh, we're getting really close the end is near we got to patch up some holes in the roof and uh, we're going to do that this weekend so we can start putting the osb up on the ceiling get the blown in insulation in and then we can hang our lights and uh, really we're pretty close to working in this thing so uh we are our budget is completely kaput so we're going to have to uh, slow down on this thing because there's no budget left. I'm going to actually be selling a lot of our vehicles that I've been wanting to sell forever anyways. They're just sitting under tarps and stuff. Street legal mini bike, tandem mini bike, super scoot is going. We got a couple race carts that's going to go for sale. The, uh, that super moto we've been doing work on, that's going to be up for sale. So uh, if anybody's interested in any motors, uh, we got a bunch of engines that's fully built that we use on projects like the 301 off 301 bike. Uh, make sure to watch out on social media because we will be posting that stuff We're just trying to wean out our parts before we go over there like a bunch of parts that we've used that we can sell for a discount um, We're going to be doing that and that'll help raise the money to finish the uh, office So thank you again for watching make sure to check out those links because go power sports did sponsor this video Because they're a couple of gangsters and uh, we thank them so much because this is a crazy hard time in our lives right now frustrating stressful but uh we keep faith in god he'll bring us through it and uh we'll get this thing finished uh dreams dreams aren't free and they're not easy that's for sure thank you guys so much for watching we love you and god bless